If you take a close look at East Cherry Street, you might get a look at a new kind of artwork, a kind that doesn't require a trip to the store first. Dylan Richards went hiking today with an artist who says all natural art is the most authentic. Such beautiful stuff. Ashley Blake can tell you where he found all the stuff in his garden. The weeds that people would pull out of their yard. This was an old plastic Halloween mask. That was in the trash and it's too cute, ain't it? If other people won't recycle their stuff, Blake will do it for them. Everybody recycle. Or dump it off at my house, I'll recycle it. <laughs> or maybe not. No, don't, really don't. Because Blake likes to go out and hand pick things himself. Everything in my yard, I picked, I put my hands on especially and said, you're going with me. Just like this, actually. Now this will have to go home with me. Blake ventures out to woods, old train tracks, abandoned lots. Be a little hazardous sometimes. Anywhere he can find good stuff to bring home. But soon, he hopes to bring the stuff I somewhere it, else, it, too. To downtown Macon, Cherry Street, to be exact. He's even got shells. That's where Wendy Neptune was Monday, admiring Blake's downtown designs. It really makes people stop and take a, take a second glance. A second glance because it doesn't look planned or fake. It looks real. As for why? I guess because it's not perfect and nobody's perfect. Nothing's perfect. I don't care how perfect it looks, it's not. Which for Blake is the whole point. Because maybe by appreciating Mother Nature's imperfections, we can start to appreciate our own. In Macon, Dylan Richards, 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News. And Blake says he hopes to fill all of the flower beds on Cherry Street with natural art in the coming months. Just gotta look for that stuff, it's out there.